When they ask you why you don't get on the song, folks, I look good to be rapping. Let them know, man. Shout out to Africa. But listen, man. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah. nah. <laughs> listen, listen, man. Duck. I just saw some shit, man. Where, um, shout out to We Are the Truth Tellers, man. You did an interview with them. And on the caption of it, they said, Duck says Lil J was only safe over here because of me. He didn't even tell me that was going to be the caption. I wouldn't have never mind if it was going to be the caption. But it's goof ass could have told me, bro. But, you, you you know, that's that's what things, you know, things like that been, been going on. But I want to speak on that shit, man. What the, What's the word is that? Man, I'm going to ask you what niggas not going to ask you, man. Was he really safe because of you? Facts. Okay, okay. Is he only claiming Tugaville and FEG because of you? Okay, so why is it, you know, he's saying shit like, y'all ain't putting on on his books, y'all ain't coming to his court, y'all get on, like, y'all get the clock, y'all like, ain't fucking with him no more. What's going on? Is it because he got locked up or what? I Let mean, the people know. Lil J probably think a motherfucker ain't fucking with him because we don't come visit his ass. Nigga, I don't even go visit my own daddy. I ain't even went to visit my brother when he was in jail. Nigga, what makes you think I'm going to come see you? But it ain't about the part of coming to see you. It just, nigga, you know I ain't coming to no motherfucking jail to see no motherfucking body. That ain't what I do. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I don't like going to jails and shit, nigga. You feel me? You call me, then we could talk about whatever you want to talk about, nigga. I don't got no problem with having no conversation with you. You one of my supposed to be homies. You feel me? Like, you feel me? But other than that, I mean, shit, I don't know how you feel, shit. I really don't get no fuck. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, well, cause it seemed to be like some problem going on with, with the account. Was he fucking with y'all before he got incarcerated? No. Why wow, the people don't know that, man? Right, they don't know a lot of shit. That's what they they just <clears throat> going off of what we used to do. You feel me? How close we used to be. That's what they going off. You feel me? If niggas don't know, we weren't talking a long time before we even went to jail. You feel me? It was like a year. Like we weren't fucking with each other. Like it wasn't no. We want kicking it, you feel me? He got to doing his own little thing with the little WTO shit, him, don't you, whoever he was with, you feel me? They got doing the other shit. You see why they in the situation they was in, and we weren't around because niggas weren't fucking with us, you feel mm, me? Okay. So, if niggas know, like, if, if, if the gang is the gang, then we together. We move as a unit, you see what I'm saying? So, if you want to do something, we all going to go do something. If you want to do something, we all going to do shit as, together, you feel me? Right. If the next motherfucker don't want to do something, he gonna stay in the crib. You feel me? We know he ain't finna do shit. He ain't wanna come with us, so we know he ain't finna go nowhere else and get no bullshit. You feel me? But like I said, niggas was hard headed. You feel me? Niggas felt like they could do whatever the fuck they wanted to do. You feel me? So, and it, niggas know it really want that, but that's how it looked to the fans. You feel me? Because you know, Lil J used to do a lot of that shit on the internet. You feel me? He used to argue with that fucking body and shit. Was it ego? E egos in the in, in the group that made him say, uh, "I'm not really rocking with FBG no more. I'm doing my WTO shit." That cause, shit. I mean, if you really want to be honest, shit. Me and Big now it was like, damn, we was always cold. You feel me? Right. But it was Dutch and Young, bro. Them cold as hell too. You see what I'm saying? If you really want to know, like Broski. like Dutchy do the freestyle and shit. Like he cold. Like niggas really sleep on him, but. In our circle, it was always Lil J as last when it came to rapping. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like his bars weren't equipped enough. You feel me? How you gonna get mad at us, nigga? We we doing what we supposed to do. We ripping every song. You feel me? If you can't get on here and rip every song, you gotta say the same shit you said on the last song. They don't got shit to do with us. Mm. That's your problem. You feel me? So he probably be feeling some type of way. You feel me? Damn, phone them probably think I really can't rap. Do my own thing. Already got my own fan base. Yeah, nigga, we never thought you couldn't rap. It was just, why the fuck you started saying the same shit? Like, why you using folk shit and using folk shit and folk shit? But at the same time... Was y'all you, was you trying to help him? You know what I'm saying? Put yeah, shit basically, yeah. Motherfuckers used to help him put his shit together. You feel me? You feel me? That's what we was fucked. You ain't... That's what we did. You feel me? Like... Have, have, have you or anybody else, you know what I'm saying, reached out to Shorty since he been in there? How? You don't call us. Okay. You don't call none of our phones. Oh, uh, he so he don't reach nigga, out. You don't call us. Okay. So how are we supposed to reach out to you, nigga? How the fuck we gonna call? You can't call the county, right? We gonna call the county. Right. Okay. So, uh, you, how the fuck we gonna call the county? Yeah, let us speak to Double O. <laughs> Hell no, nah, that shit don't sound right. If you don't call us, how we supposed to contact you? Write you a letter. Nigga, I don't even write songs. I just go in there and do it. How the fuck am I gonna? 
You feel me? Goo up, Gino, that's true, he don't write? Well, I don't know why you don't write shit, though. You know, it's 2017, I write shit. Right. Yeah, you feel me? I don't write, but you take it. Mm. Motherfucker got mm. lines, though, you feel me? Like, motherfucker holler, you know, motherfucker holler at too, like, you feel me? I go in that bitch, hit a beat. And I and I get it done to get busy. And yeah, just motherfucker share like motherfucker share those double O shit and all that you feel like that's what motherfucker do like share that about the album all that shit. That support you, you feel that's what you want motherfucker do like they fuck up with you. It's that. Right. But all that all that other shit like the money situation like shit. And nobody's great over here. You feel me? We straight. We ain't great. You feel me? Oh, okay. You feel me? Yeah. Like you yeah. get the picture like he ain't nigga shit. You know, ready yeah. nigga shit. You feel me? Right. Motherfucker got a few thousand. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers ain't like, like, yeah, like if we all gave 10 right out, 10 now. down, then we can get them out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, nigga, if you was out where you would have gave 10,000 to get one of the guys okay. out. Mm -hmm. Hell no. Because you wouldn't even get one of the guys $50 to get to one of your shows. But you oh, want folks in to come. But I'm just. Hold on, that's a you fact. You feel me? Like, that's real yeah. shit. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Like, it's real yeah. shit yeah. when niggas yeah. really yeah. fell off for. You see what I'm saying? Like, motherfuckers yeah. fell off because a lot of food shit he did. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't. Cause of, you feel me, we feel Lil J trying to be big head or he think he got too much clout more than us. No, cause we started you and we can end you. You see what I'm saying? Like, so we was never worried about that type of situation. You see what I'm saying? But at the same time, nigga, you know you did a lot of petty shit. At the same time, we treat, we treat each other like brothers. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? You try to treat a motherfucker like a nigga you just met. Right. This ain't one of those. We ain't gonna let you do that. You see what I'm saying? No, you can't do that. Who the fuck are you? How was it when you brought him around, you know what I'm saying, to Tukerville, when you introduced him to your homie? On some for, on some for real shit, I met him through my homie Kells. Kill him? No, not kill him. Okay. My homie Kells, light-skinned Kells, because, you know, he he been over there, you see what I'm saying? Right. Folks been around for a minute, you see what I'm saying? I met him through Kells, you feel me? Like, and ever since I met him through Kells, even, you know me, everybody know Duck in the hood. You feel me? Duck one of the niggas you should want to be with on 6th and 3rd. Right. You see what I'm saying? Because Duck one of the niggas who's going to get protected by everybody from on 6th and 3rd. You see what I'm saying? Like, if it came down to me, they going to come. Like, it's not, ain't no joking. Like, business is going to get done. You see what I'm saying? Like, but at the same time, he see that. You see what I'm saying? He see how much poor motherfucker had. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to hang with Duck. Mm. You know how that shit goes. Right. You see what I'm saying? All right, you know, <clears throat> niggas sleeping at my crib. You feel me? Whatever the case may be. Like I, like I say, niggas stealing all that shit, taking shit, thinking they can get away with it. Hell no, nah, because you thinking you can get away with it because you know whatever I tell folk them, they going to fall back. You Did he steal from you or one nah. of somebody? On some for real shit, he stole some little petty money. You see what I'm saying? But I ain't never look at it as nothing too much. Right, like, fuck like, that shit. That's, that's little shit. You right. Feel me? Who cared? Even though he could have asked. See what I'm saying? But at the same time, like I say, he's taking shit from folks and them. You feel me? How did how, how did how your homie them felt when they like damn your, your your man you brought around taking from us? Also for real shit. Fuck them up to do that. Do that to us. Hang <laughs> on. Fuck them. But I'm like nah, folk. Beat them. You see what I'm saying, folk? Beat them instead of you know just beat them, folk. You know what I'm saying, my folk. Pooped him up a little bit, yeah. Oh, so he did get an altercation over there? Oh, yeah, he got him to an altercation. Yeah. That's why, it, also for real shit, that's why, like, niggas don't need, need to be rapping that shit on their songs and shit. Niggas don't really be on the block. Mm. Also for real shit, like, niggas don't be on the block. You feel me? Like, and, and niggas know this not even me. Like, I don't even get on interviews and talk about the guys and none of that shit because it ain't nobody business. But when you talk about me, like you nigga made a whole interview about me. You feel me? Like why is you why is you talking about about me, nigga? You slept in my crib, nigga. Like my mama welcomed you, nigga. Like when you ain't had nowhere to go for a year and a half, nigga, you live with me. You see what I'm saying? Mm hmm It's a lot of bullshit he did, you see what I'm saying? But he got away with it because me. You see what I'm saying? Like a lot of shit probably would have been happened to him. But you was saving him. Basically. You see what I'm saying? Folk them tell me all the time. They be like, that's so powerful, folk. You be trying to save niggas, folk. You feel me? And I'm like, you're right. And maybe, yeah, maybe that is my problem. How did you feel when you found out Shorty was in the situation he was in? You know what I'm saying? Him and Buddy got in a situation, an altercation. On some and, and they, like, he was calling us at first. We was talking to him. On phone them. We was talking to him. You feel me? Then, he 
you got to get on some other shit, you feel me? You got to call in other motherfuckers talking about what we ain't put on your bond or what we ain't put on your books and all this shit, nigga. We not obligated to do nothing for you that you didn't do for us when you was on the street. Mm. You expect you, you expect for us to feel sorry because you in jail because you know me, nigga. I got a good heart, nigga. You I don't, don't want to see none of my niggas suffer. You see what I'm saying? Right. So with that being said, you know that. You see what I'm saying? So you probably feeling like, damn, I know Duck probably going to have a little soft spot for me. You feel me? He probably going to care about me. No, nigga. Because at the same time, I stopped fucking with you, nigga, before you went to jail. So this shit ain't gonna change cause you in jail. Mm. What I supposed to act fake cause you in jail like, yeah, me and Lil J on good terms. We're not on good terms, nigga. I'm not supposed to act like that cause you in jail. So, if, you know, niggas, outsiders look in like, damn, duck fool as hell, he talking down on Lil J. This shit I said, Lil J. Like, this shit I would tell Lil J personally. Like, niggas know I don't bite my tongue. You feel me? Like, at the same time, I really don't get no fuck. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what he say. I don't care how he feel. He ain't gonna do nothing to me when he get out of jail. Shit still gonna be the same. You feel me? Speaking okay. of um, like Lil J's situation, you said when he get out of jail, you know, he just did an interview and he said some shit like he turned down eight years. You know, he going up, he fighting an attempted attempt murder, uh, a body, whatever the case may be. And I'm like, damn, so he turned down eight years. He could have been out within three. You know what I'm saying? Cause he been in three. Um, what was your take on that when you heard like, damn, so he turned that down. He trying to, he going to try with this. What was your feeling story? What was y'all feeling story? You asked me shit. You feel me? Who is this? It ain't even like that though. Like, you never know. You feel me? But it's like, just think about like, once again, like, who you got around? Who you talking to? You feel me? Like, who give you, you feel me? Like, advice and shit like that. You feel me? Like, that's what I think about that time, nigga. Like, he just said. Motherfuckers running around. Motherfuckers wasn't doing this and that. Motherfuckers around a whole different crowd. You had a whole different circle. You had a whole different mindset. You feel me? Right. Yeah, you get behind them vibes. You know how street niggas feel, you know? See, yeah. like you just said, motherfucker, think about that shit. You got this, that. Oh, yeah, we're gonna do this. You already did this time. You finna get this good. You finna get this good time. I don't know what you going in there. You better get a, a tray or something. You feel me? Not a couple more, couple more months off like that. Right. I don't know what you thinking, like. <clears throat> but shit, maybe you thinking he gotta, you feel me? You gotta go you feel me? It was shit going on. You feel me? He gotta take this shit going on. You feel me? He might get out of that situation. There's a lot of funny shit going on. But once again, to go back to. Motherfucker, gotta keep that mouth shut and all that other shit, so. Yeah, he ain't doing too much talking while he's behind the bar. So what y'all feel? He shouldn't be doing the interviews, you know what I'm saying? Cause I wouldn't I be doing nothing. Okay. Yeah, you can't like, do nothing. Why the is internet can change up why anything you, doing, you say. Yeah? Why are you doing interviews about your homies anyway? The niggas you need help from. So what did you see that, that, that sparked controversy that you like, what the fuck? When he got on that big, hell no, duck man. I don't talk to none of that ass, like. On the Say Cheese interview. Right, like a motherfucker just don't want to talk to you. You see what I'm saying? If you call. Nigga, these phones, like right now, these motherfuckers not ringing. You see what I'm saying? Right. Ain't, ain't no motherfucker calling from jail. We all right here. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Besides my homies from my block. They, you see what I'm saying? Right. Like from 63rd. You feel me? Like on a whole nother level. You see what I'm saying? But, I mean, shit, you really can't say shit too much about it because. You got to think about it. If Lil J was out of jail and one of us is in jail, I swear to God, he wouldn't do shit. You don't think so? You wouldn't get a dollar from him. If he got a meal, would you get You wouldn't get a dollar from him. You but I'm just saying, hold on, wait, no. If, and then if he got a meal, uh, nigga, you wouldn't eat. Nigga, I swear to God, if you ever call Lil J, like right now, you could call one of our phones. Let, I'm finna pull up, bro. Let's do an interview. Right. All right, Zach, bro, pull up, bro. You already know. Fact. You in the books. You see what I'm saying? Right. History. At the same time, you'll call Lil J phone, like you said, if he got a meal. Damn, bro, what's up? Let me do it. Hell nah, boy, ain't doing no interview with your ass. Boy, don't call me, goof ass nigga. That's exactly how he gonna treat you. Wow. You gotta pay for this. That's exactly how he gonna treat you. Well, he gotta pay me. How much you got? That way he gonna tell and, and still, right now, without a meal, he'll tell your ass the same uh, shit. But at the same time, he'll like, I know you saying, you feel me? Like, where well, he was from, you feel me? Like, well, he, he from Abbey yeah. you feel me? St. Lawrence. We know folks from Yellow, you feel me? We skis gang, you feel me? But the circle so close, you feel me? Like, that's how we rock it, like brothers type shit. So they're like, if that makes a true, like, yeah, they want FBG, they want this and that. No, nah, but. Oh, I get what you're saying. Motherfucker just yeah. connect on some real nigga mm -hmm. shit. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So you don't get that, it's just misconstrued. You know, motherfuckers like to go, like, 
Yeah, yeah he ain't from. Exactly. Nah, we ain't speaking on. Never they, said, we ain't speaking like, on their past. We but shorty, like, look, but nah, know, one on one, you feel me? Like, motherfuckers know, he know who the fuck you feel me that is. What's going on? You said you said I want to speak a little bit more about this for the people outside of Chicago that don't understand what the lawyers and the DAs and the judges do out here. So he turned down an eight year plea deal, which was awesome, and everybody said y'all agree, right? That was good, right? Eight years. So now, what y'all think that they gonna try to come back with him with now? About fifteen. They don't know. They gonna toss them bitches. For motherfuckers who don't know right now, in front of the city, because everybody got that fifty percent here. Illinois, they got like fifty percent, so they give you six, you go to three. Yeah. They gave them eight. You feel me? Y'all do four. He just did three already down there. You feel me? Two years or whatever. He went wild do shit for like two more years, year and a half type shit. He said, fuck that shit. I ain't trying to sit down. You done it for the fight that shit for a year to get dicks and the all that shit. The time you was going to get you out. Feel me? Go, you feel me? The time you finna get out, you finna up, fight. Right. That's, how, that's how niggas just think. That's all niggas really think. You feel me? I don't know if y'all understand that. They like, no, it's still eight years. You're going to be gone. No, you feel me? Folks already been gone. He'd that been, shit count. Been that's home. About you got three in. Like, you got three in. You been home in like two and a half years. Yeah. Nigga, a year, year and a half. Nigga, my cousin, nigga, he got a year and a half. He got two most, years. He would have been home because he got three in, nigga. Mm. Ain't that fifty? Right back. You got three in. Do y'all think Chicago, Chicago, especially with drill rap being, you know, Chicago the forefront for this drill shit, for this music shit? Y'all think the judges and DAs making examples out of rappers? Yeah, basically? yeah. Duh. They cooking us. They I'm pulling that shit. We the ones talking about no all the shit. We influencing all the kids. They ride around listening to our yeah. shit. You see all you be these guys from the street. You'd be surprised. Motherfucker pull dead up. Oh, yeah, ain't this you? Yeah. Ain't this you, uh, FBG Duck? Yeah. Excuse me, Gino. Yeah, this is you, ain't you? Mm. Where's the 30s? <laughs> Stupid fuck. Yeah. 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 Ye
you feel me? Whatever the fuck they be saying, or whatever the fuck they be saying. You feel me? But at the same time, who cares? You, you know what I'm saying? You know, I gotta say who cares, because that's my new you know, hashtag, man. Who cares? Who cares? You feel me? <laughs> but no, nah, niggas be hating, bro. You feel me? Niggas know we cold, Zach. Like, niggas know we can spit and we talk that shit. We, 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 we can make real music. You feel what I'm saying? And niggas afraid, so niggas be trying to do the best they can to tell the next nigga not to fuck with us. Who who have you tried to reach out to? I fucking tried to reach out to several motherfuckers. Big are all over the country. Yeah, like a lot of motherfuckers. And then you will hear, you will see Lil Duck on the picture with they had. Like he just know we tried to come, and then motherfucker don't reply. You see what I'm saying? But okay. okay. Hashtag who cares. So you would jump in a DM or a tweet or some shit like that, like man, yeah, let's collaborate, like, let's yeah, do a feature. Yeah, tried to like me and Waka, like on some, on some, on some for real shit. Waka was supposed to do the right now remix. Damn. Like I got the shit. We whole conversation on Twitter, like in the DM. Right. We sent the song to him, all that. All right, bro, bro, I'ma do my verse. I'ma send it back. Never got that bitch back. Mm. Like a couple months later, see him on the song with Boss Top and O Block. We was in top on the song this and took and shit. That's why I be saying like niggas be going off the next nigga words. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like you would have got up with us, that would have been more rank for you in Chicago. Cause now you you could have been good on this side and that side. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like we don't care what you trying to do. You try you gotta get your money. You see what I'm saying? As long as you ain't on that coming here trying to pick a side shit. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? Like I'm gonna fuck with these niggas. I ain't gonna fuck with them niggas. Bro, don't fuck with these niggas, so I ain't gonna fuck with these niggas. Y'all ain't got more than 10 years in this shit. This supposed to be about money. This supposed to be business. Why are you trying to get involved with some Chicago shit? You see what I'm saying? See, now you mind other people's business. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So now you're gonna make us not like you, and you're gonna make us not wanna fuck with you. Now you pull the whole ass stunt. And it's gonna be a reason you can't come here, because we don't get no fuckers you come here with the BDs. They, they get this work all the time. You see what we I'm saying? Still, yeah, they gone. You see what I'm saying? They get this work. They know they get this work. You see what I'm saying? And we'll give your ass this work. You won't be able to come here, nigga. Don't believe them when they tell you you safe on their behalf. That's that's false information. You see what I'm saying? You're not safe, nigga. They don't run this city. Where, where, where? The fuck? 